Johnny Quest here. I just got and uh, received this package from Bass Pro Shops. Some new baits that I'm going to be trying out uh, next time I go out fishing. Um, it's not going to be this weekend, but probably the weekend above. I'm going to be going out and uh, doing some fishing out and see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up, uh, take a look at my baits, and show you guys what I got for the next round on the Johnny Quest Fishing Adventure. So uh, hopefully you guys will actually like this. And uh, I gotta be careful with this knife. So I don't cut my fingers off. This knife may not look like a shark, but it's actually very sharp. So anyway, um, see what I got there and uh, unfortunately they didn't have one of my baits but I'm still happy with what I got um, I ordered a, you know just a few things which of course I didn't on that side so on this side really whoa and yeah I think I'm just gonna take them out because uh, according to the list over here Hard to read. So anyway, besides the fact that I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> so uh, let me show you guys what I got. Um, I actually got some. And uh, I'm going to actually leave that one for last. Only because there's a story behind that one. But I'm going to show you guys what I got here. Alright, first of all, I've been having some pretty good... You know, pretty good uh, luck on with jigs and stuff like that. So I got some uh, two types of weedless jigs. Uh, these are these are football football um, jig heads, and I got the quarter ounce and the three eighth ounce. And you can see I got some quarter ounce. These are by uh, Enticer Weedless Pro Bass Pro Shop brand. Ta -da! And uh, not bad, right? Some pretty good stuff. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, rig these up with uh, some other baits that I have, uh, including uh, some uh, swimming baits that I have, yeah. baits that I have, you know, and uh, also some craws that I have. So I want to combine them, you know, and, uh, and use them for, uh, for weed that's jigging. Also, I ordered some other types of stuff that I'm going to use on it. Uh, hopefully in November sometime I'm going to be going out and fishing for smallmouth in a particular lake that I went before and so I've got these guys here. This is the Bass Pro Shop, um, the skirted grubs and this is the pumpkin color, right? This is the pumpkin color? Yeah. This is the pumpkin seed color. And uh, I'm going to be matching some of these with some of these here. And I'll tell you why is um, I thought that only tubes is the only thing that smallmouth actually like. But they actually like this stuff too. I've seen a lot of fishermen. It's going to be my first smallmouth bass caught here in Texas. I've never caught one here in Texas yet. And I'm so looking forward because it's really hard to find. There's only two places I know where you can get smallmouth here in Texas. So they're like really difficult spots to find. Even though I've been to Lake Whitney, which they used to be smallmouth there, nobody has seen anybody catch anymore. And I think it's because they've just fished them out. Um, other than that, I don't know a reason why they wouldn't be. So anyway, this is uh, this I'm going to match it up with the jig heads. All right, really important. Another thing that is actually very good with the smallmouth or net rig and a lot of folks they don't really fish net rig and I'm going to talk a lot about these net rigs right now uh, this one is in the white lightning color they kind of have like a shad color and hello why do you think I'm getting shad color the fish are you know going to be getting ready for winter and they're going to be eating up a lot of shad all right that's like the big thing so I got shad color definitely for net rigs and I already got the, the hooks for my net rig, so I don't have to worry about hooks. I got plenty of hooks for that. And so I'm going to use those. Also, I decided to get these 
Um, these other colors over here. Uh, this one is the uh, uh, green pumpkin color, uh, the Kobe, and it has kind of like a little orangey and purple flake in it. And man, I said, you know what? I think that they might like that. This will definitely, you know, for really, really finesse fishing, I really throw it, and trust me, the hooks are like small. So I'll be definitely catching something with this. I also have a little bit bigger hooks that I can use with them, because these are the bigger ones. And uh, I wanted to get the bigger ones and the small ones. So I also got, um, for in the net rig, this is the Molten Crawl. Now they didn't have the regular green pumpkin that I wanted. Um, I mean, yeah, I think it's green pumpkin. But I did get these here, and I think that these are going to actually work. They, I don't know if you could really see the colors right there real good, but they have like, you know, a lot of, um, again, like a purplish, and it's got a little bit of red, a little bit, it's got kind of like a little bit of everything, so it's called a molting cry. And the reason that they have like all these little colors or whatever is because when crawfish are molting, all right, they kind of like reflect the light with different kind of little colors because their their skin is off of their, I mean, their shell is off of their skin. And so therefore, it's kind of like a reflected, you know, shield that, that reflects in the sun. And I think that these are going to catch me, uh, probably the most are going to be the shad color in these that are going to catch me the most smallmouth. So I'm really hoping for that. And this is the one I wanted to talk to you guys about. This is the Berkeley... Have a pearl white silver flake, and this is the subwoofer. And this was personally um, advised to me by Mike Iconelli. I know you guys, you know, think that it's almost impossible for this guy to ever talk to anyone, but he is actually a really good guy. And he recommended me using this. I let him know that, you know, I do mostly boatless fishing right now. It's what I'm doing a lot. And uh, he actually said, hey, you know, don't get discouraged. Try these. These work real good. You can jerk them over. You can jerk them under the water. So you can use these um, subwoofers not only to, um, you know, as a swim bait, but also you can jerk these, you know, uh, by putting it on, guess what? on different kind of jig heads and, and different kind of uh, weighted hooks. So you can use these, you know, they're pretty versatile. And again, I got these in shad color. And these I'm definitely gonna be using out when I go fishing on my next trip. So mostly, uh, um, I'm going to be using my, my jig heads with the, with the cross and also my jig heads with the, with the skirted grubs because I want to be able to, um, to catch some good smallmouth. I haven't caught any smallmouth here in Texas. I'm really looking forward to doing that. And um, some of these are going to help me do that and some of these are going to help me get bigger largemouth bass, like especially this Iconelli. I was so actually happy that he recommended this. They're, four, they're the four inch. And it's funny because I use three and four odd hooks um, so I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to use this with my four odd hooks and like I said you can like go over top water with these or go underwater so however I see the shad are active in the water that's how I'm going to use this. I'm either going to do it top water or I'm going to do it a little bit beneath with a little weighted hook and just jerk it through and, and what I like about it is it has like this little cut tail in the back and he actually did a video by the way. I'm going to put a link of his video so you can see uh, what he talks about this bait. This bait's actually pretty versatile and it's pretty useful I think like to be able to, to catch good bass on. Especially now in the fall season I think this is going to be a really good bait to give it a shot. Try to get a big one. So anyway, until my next fishing trip, hope you enjoy everything. Please smash the subscribe button. It always helps us out. But remember, most important, share with friends and family. Johnny Quest out.